Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to Nico Brothers. We're continuing to build on our awesome RV that's no longer burnt. It was burnt at one point, but now it's looking really nice. I mean, it's coming together. We got our microwave in, exhaust fan, that backsplash. Ooh, it's looking good. So now I'm basically gonna work on that water heater. I'm so done. <sighs> Not with the water, <laughs> not with the RV. We're not quitting on the project. I'm quitting, not even quitting at all. I'm just done with that water heater. Like I said, I'd do it twice. Like they say, better do it right the first time, honestly, for sure, because I didn't put that foam around it. I had to take it completely back apart. I thought I could just put it on after once I got it installed, but it turns out it doesn't go on. Everything's so tight in RVs, so make sure you put it all together, everything you need to, and then install it properly. So let's see what's going on. Kind of looks like a mess, but there's that styrofoam I was talking about. Our water here is there. I honestly really want to hook up all the wire lines and everything and try it out, see if it works. So I'm really excited to finish all this stuff right here and get the countertop installed, get our sink in, plumbing done, and see if our hot water and cold water work. I mean, we've literally never had water running through this thing yet since we got it, since our water heater was cracked. So let's go ahead and get all this going. Really quick, I gotta fix this rail right here from our old countertop. I don't know why it's so crooked, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt that. Replace this line, looks like it got broken, so might as well just get a new little rail there. Get it all nicely neat, you know, make it look all good, replace the things I don't need, and then go ahead and install my countertop. Alrighty guys, so I got my staple gun going and I got new staples into the store and they are so much longer so that's how I'm going to secure it because I don't want the screws and split my wood or anything like that. I had staples in before so staples are the way to go. That looks nice. I got plenty of depth, pretty long. So I'm just going to go ahead and go underneath and staple it and get this thing secured. It already feels very honestly. It feels very, very stable. It was very tight getting in but repaint a lot of stuff but you know the touch up is part of life. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and staple it on the edges where I went and got my borders. Staple it down and get it down. Alright, that is stapled on there, feeling really solid. Honestly, that ain't going nowhere. I even got more staples probably than originally, so solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on my walls now. Go ahead and get that backsplash on there, the subtitles. And you guys already seen that process, it's not that bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get it on there. And there we go, just like that. We got it done. It's looking great. Check out that. Tile work. Mm. 
Oh yeah, much better. What a transformation for sure. Looking good. This turned out really clean. I'm happy with the results. These tiles are really easy to work with. I love it. Honestly, this is our first project, this RV, using these tiles, and I really like it. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below for the description. You know, just, I really recommend it. They're good stuff. I'm happy with it. Still need some touch-up paint here and stuff, but that's fine. We still got a refrigerator we're going to work on, so I'm not really worried about that right now. We'll get to that later. I can always tape this up and then touch that up. Not a problem. Right now, I want to get my sink installed, and I was reading all your guys' comments where to put that sink position and stuff, so... Let's go ahead and throw it on there again and see what it looks like. But there we go. Basically, I got my bowl flush with my countertop right there. That's looking good. We'll get it centered up. And then I was reading your comments, like I said, just offset it to the right. And that way, this is already up. It won't be in the way of nothing. And I still have all this counter space back there. All this space I could use. Put your toothbrush or whatever you gotta use. Put it down there. You got all that countertop space. That's nice. And save it. I think that's gonna look really good right there like that clean let's go ahead and figure out how to get this thing installed okay so to get my bowl installed my vessel I guess that's what they call them I'm gonna need to drill my hole so I'm gonna measure for the center and then this way I know this is pretty good so I'll make basically mark it measure the center find the middle and get that hole drilled but then I have to find the size I need to drill because I can't make it too big too small let's go see the piping that we have so this is what came with it. I'm basically going to need to get this to go through. Makes sense. I mean, it's a basic system. It doesn't look too hard to install. Have I done a lot of these before? No. But, hey, you live and you learn. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like I have to get this through there. A whole lot of gaskets. So whatever size this is, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, that's nice. Look at that. Just push on it. That's so easy. So let's measure this and see if we can find a drill, a hole, saw for that size. Inch and a half. And actually have a hole saw. Just look at that. It's a little bigger. I think it'd be perfect. Oh yeah, Just slightly bigger than my drain. I think that's perfect. So let's go ahead and measure it, mark it, drill it, and mount it. Okay, so now that I have my hole mapped out, drilled out, I'm checking underneath to make sure everything's okay, and it actually lines up pretty close to my existing sink drain, so it should be right there. Should it be a problem? I say let's go ahead and drill it. Let's see how hard this is gonna be drilled. Wonder how it's gonna turn out. Watching videos online, they say basically take the bottom of it and put clear silicone around it so then I could seal it properly. I see some other holes here, but I don't see any of the hardware in the bag for that. Maybe that's another way to anchor it down, but this seems pretty good to support it. Uh, like I said, I don't see any bolts or any other system how to use those holes, but 
Should be fine, so I'll go ahead and get my clear silicone on there, get it all prepped up, and let's get this mounted. It's looking great. Just look how that lined up. And right there is my other place that's connected. Perfect. You really don't want to lose any of these sealants, I mean, these rubber gaskets and stuff. Definitely important. We don't want any leaks. Let's go ahead and get a big old adjustable and get that locked down. And there we go, just like that, got it locked down. This thing is feeling super secure. Oh yeah, that's definitely not going anywhere. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more silicone on the edges just in case water wants to get in there. I know I got silicone on the inside, but I feel like it's the right thing to do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plumb it, get it connected to my water waste. Let's get that going. Oh yeah, it fits right in, that's awesome. I don't get any different fittings or anything like that. That's that's nice. <laughs> And there we go, just like that, I got it connected. Looking good. Okay, now that I got my sink installed and it looks looking great, I'll go ahead and work on my faucet. I probably should have done that before I secured this. Thinking about it now, it'd be an easier just to drill my two holes and then mount everything. But, you live and learn, I can still get it. So let's do it. All right, so the more I'm looking at it, it is gonna be difficult to drill back there. So what I wanna do is take it off and I found more hardware. So I'm pretty sure these go on the bottom right there to secure it from spinning, which would be really nice because I, even though I locked it down, I could still feel a little bit of spin on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it off since I just put it on there. I'm sure the silicone's not gonna dry. I could wipe it all off, do it right. So I'm gonna redo it, <laughs> might as well. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and take it off, get that drilled, get these drilled, get it remounted.
All right, guys, good news and bad news. So good news is secure. I feel really confident about it now. I got my faucet on there. Perfect, look at that clearance. Ooh, no problem. That's looking great, but my plumbing is gonna be the problem. Basically, this is what I need to get plugged in down here, but what I have to work with is this hose right here. So I got two females and it's not working. So I'm gonna go to the local hardware store and try to figure this out, get a little connector or something going on to get these things to hook up. I mean, I'm pretty surprised how well it's going so far. It was definitely kind of a puzzle with this guy over here with the hoses and the coupling and the washers and the nuts, make sure everything goes in the right way. But got that all taken care of. I'll just get this thing plugged in and get it going. All right, guys, so here we go. What do the store got me an adapter? So that's gonna go in there. It's a pipe thread. Man, there's so many different types of threads and fittings, and that's a compression fitting right there. And that's gonna go on to my faucet. Perfect. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and put some thread on there, so cover it up just in case, no leaks or anything like that. But I don't think I need to, but a little bit won't hurt. So let's get that hooked up. plumbed up ready to go let's get some water hose hooked up and get this thing on looks like I don't have any fresh water so let's hook up some water and get it in there all right guys so I turned the water on but I was getting leaks in my bathroom and my kitchen area so it's definitely I'm gonna stop that for now it's all the time I have for today but we're gonna figure it out next time